in accordance with global-based practices of lowering the emission of greenhouse gases and other hazardous substances, the Environmental Health Council of Nigeria, EHCON, under the supervision of Nigeria's Minister of Environment, Barrister Mohammed Abdullahi, embarked on a tour to inspect solar panel batteries reportedly emitting substances dangerous to human health and the environment following a tip-off by a good Samaritan. The touring party which took off from its Garaki office in Abuja at about 10 a.m. local time on Monday arrived at the site where the situation was reported, a junior secondary school in Gui community. Concerned about the situation, officials of EHCON thoroughly engaged the engineers in charge of the facility while they also conducted an on-the-spot assessment to ascertain the severity of the situation. While at the venue, officials spotted glaring anomaly in the solar installation particularly the batteries, as they weren't kept in an adequately ventilated environment. The resultant effect was the swelling of the batteries, release of harmful gases and other hazardous substances, which could endanger the lives of the flora and fauna of the area. Reacting to the situation, the registrar of EHCON, Dr. Yakubu Mohamed Baba, confirmed the situation while noting that the unventilated space the batteries occupied resulted in the harmful chemical reaction. The team went and you have also been an eyewitness of what uh, you have seen there. And basically the batteries that are supposed to service the solar panel were not well kept because ideally they need to have kept the batteries since it contains gel. It has to be outside so that there is going to be ventilation, cross ventilation coming to the battery. So what happened is, as a result of uh, uh, where the batteries were kept indoors in a confined space, uh, with the rest in temperature, ordinarily the battery must be affected. And we have witnessed that um, the batteries bulge and also start emitting the contents in the batteries. The registrar further said the minister has approved the closure of the school for a week while emphasizing the wide range of consultation they plan making to forestall the occurrence. Basically what we have done as a ministry uh, now is uh, the minister has approved temporarily we close down the school for one week. Uh, this will enable us as you can see today, we have done safe evacuation of the student of the school. Then also we are going to consult with other stakeholders so that we can safely go and safely engage also a competent recycle, battery recycler to be part of the process so that, you know, you cannot just go and dismantle and carry it also and say you go and bury it or you go and bond. No, there is a protocol that guide the process of uh, also removal of the battery. For a country that ranked 168 out of 180 countries in the Environment Performance Index, EPI, in 2022, efforts like this would help Nigeria achieve a clean environment, reduce emission of greenhouse gases, and augment desensitization amongst Nigerians on the need to not only adopt, but maintain renewable sources of energy. In Abuja, Nigeria's capital, Abiodun Mohamed, Top Accolade News.